So you did have the document from Coastal Moners? Objection. Harvey, you're the defendant. I wasn't objecting to his question, just his tie. I do have to look at it, you know. It's fun, isn't it, Harv? Hanging out, catching up, learning about your fraud. I hate to burst your bubble, Trav, but there was no fraud. There was no fraud? What you just said, you had the document. Yes. We went back through the case files, found the report. Whoops. That's it. Whoops. <laughs> I hope you got that. Whoops? Your defense is whoops? All right, you've made your point. You made us a settlement offer that we would never take. Let's talk about one that we would. This is a deposition, not a settlement meeting. Every meeting is a settlement meeting. Fine. The offer was five million, and Harvey gets disbarred. How about a hundred million? And Harvey gets disbarred. Tanner, you want to take this to court? Go right ahead. I'd rather watch her cut you down than see her cut a deal anyway. You know, I see why Hairdo wants to roll the dice, but why you? You just went from five million to a hundred million, and you're questioning why I don't want to sell. If that's a sticking point, I might be able to go to zero million. But the one thing I won't budge on is, he gets disbarred. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I mean, what does he, cause a headache like this once, twice a month? Doesn't matter, because he cures more than he makes, like when you stuck your nose into my case last year, and he beat you. Crushed him. Then he took his ball and went home. Should've stayed there. Look at that, finishing each other's sentences. How cute. No wonder you won't throw him under the bus. Good for you, Harvey. I mean, you're, uh, throwing her under the bus. Watch yourself, Tanner. Oh, what's the matter, Harv? Did I offend your delicate sensibilities? You want to take your ball and go home? I'm going to take my ball and shove Harvey. it here. Of course. Your coiffed hair. Your pretty nails. See, she's the man, and you're the girl. You know, it's funny. I would have thought she'd prefer someone this like This deposition me. is over. Oh, what, is Mommy going to take you home now? Wait, that's it. You got a thing for mommy. And now it all makes sense. Because I actually looked into your mommy and it turns out that the whole time you were home with daddy, mommy was out banging. <laughs> See you in Corn Harp. So when did the plan change from trying to settle to punching Tanner in the face? He didn't seem to want to do the one, so I did the other. That's funny. But he got under your skin, and that can't happen when we go to trial. It won't. Not if you're prepared. Are you suggesting a trial run? I don't want a trial at all, but... We already know your position is to cut me loose, but she's managing partner, not you. No. I'm just one of many partners who don't know what to think. And if they don't know that you didn't do it, how is a jury going to feel? You're betting everything on this trial. Better make damn sure you can win. He's an asshole. He's right. All right, what? If we're going to do this, I don't want to waste a chance to tune you up, but that means... We need a damn good tanner. Are you saying I'm rusty? When was the last time you were in the ring? We don't need a good tanner. We need a nasty tanner. Someone will do anything to beat me. Someone who makes you want to punch him in the face. <laughs> you want me to do what? I just told you four times. I want you to play tanner. No, no, no. I'm, I was a little distracted because I was reading. Can you just repeat it one more time? Look, Lewis, you've had your fun. When I said the ground rules were to knock me off my game, I was talking about the trial. I know what you're talking about. You didn't come to me because I'm an idiot. No, not because you're one, in spite of you being one. I'm the man for the job, and you know it. Actually, I had you at number five on my list. And what did Jessica have me at? Six. OK, I get it. I get it. You're trying to make me mad. No, I'm trying to make you good. You see, the one thing you have in common with Tanner is your hatred of me. That is true. But what you don't have are his skills. But that's OK. I'll go to somebody else. Wait, Harvey, stop. You don't think I can win? I know you can't. This isn't some bank loan, Junior. Get out. I got a trial to prepare for. And you know what? When you lose, do not come crying to me, because there's nothing on this earth that would be sacred enough to stop me from shoving your ass in the goddamn ground. Good, because those are the real ground rules. Oh, I see, now you're asking to get lit up. Somebody wants to get lit up. Please state your name. Harvey Specter. Your full name? Harvey Reginald Specter. 
Do you consider yourself a liar, Mr. Spector? Of course not. Didn't you recently confess that as an associate, you hid an important file belonging to a, ooh, what was his name? Oh yeah, a Lewis Litt. That was a prank. It was a one-time thing. So you didn't do anything wrong? I don't think so. And when asked, did you claim that you knew nothing about it? Yes. Did you ever do anything to remedy the situation? No. Why not? What was done was done. What was done was done. And like you said, it was a one-time thing, right? Yes. Ah. Was it? Because I think maybe this is a pattern. Information was hidden. You claim you knew nothing about it. You did nothing to rectify the situation. And years later, you maintain you've done nothing wrong. Your Honor, he's testifying. Sounds exactly the same as why we're here today. Except there's one big difference. Your Honor. This time, a man was killed. No further questions, Your Honor. What's done is done, right? <laughs> Plaintiff would like to call Miss Jessica Pearson to the stand. Sidebar. This is just an attempt to make Harvey's attorney look bad in front of the jury. Oh, what, you think Tanner's gonna make you look good? You're a named defendant. He has a right to call you. Louis, will you excuse us for a moment? You think I don't see what you're trying to do? You want him to undermine me in front of the partners? I'm acting in an unbiased manner. Sure took you a while to jump in when Harvey was up here. Oh, wait, you never jumped in. Jessica, you chose to try this case. You could have been up here. Instead, you're down there. Either take a knee or take that stand. Would you say it's important to win at Pearson Hartman? You don't get to be one of the top law firms in New York by losing. What about Mr. Spector? How's his track record? Exceptional. He almost always wins. Almost always. Is that why he's the youngest senior partner in firm history? It's a factor. And how much did the firm benefit with the Coastal Motors win? I'd say the profits were somewhere in the mid eight figures. And if Mr. Spector had lost those eight figures, would he have still made senior partner so young? No. Mm. No, he wouldn't have. How much does Mr. Spector personally gain as senior partner? Oh, it's too soon to say. He hasn't received his first bonus yet. Ballpark? No. Are you that ashamed of how much you pay him? No. Well, then answer the question. Millions. And a junior partner makes? Much less. So win, and you're rewarded millions. Win less, and no matter how much hard work, dedication, or administrative dominance is displayed, you get nothing. Fight the incentive to do whatever it takes to almost always win. The plaintiff would like to call Ms. Donna Paulson to the stand. You got her to come in. Just stick to the script. Harvey won't know what hit him. I... Ms. Paulson, did Harvey Specter order you to shred that document? I declined to answer pursuant to my Fifth Amendment rights. Did you put your date stamp on that document? I declined to answer. I'm, I'm not going to ask questions that you're just going to plead the Fifth to, so. Had Harvey Specter asked you to bury something five years ago, would you? He wouldn't ask me to do that. That's not what I asked. If he did, would you do it? Oh, so you're pausing, which means you're hiding something. No, I'm not. See, I think you'd do anything for him, and I know why. Is there a question? Do you love Harvey Specter? What? Do you love him? That has nothing to do with- It has everything to do with. Why'd your last boyfriend break up with you? 
Miss Paulson, why'd he end it with you? He thought that I prioritized my work over our relationship. Your work? He asked you to choose between him and Harvey, didn't he? Yes. Who'd you choose? Harvey. Because you love him. Lewis, stop. It is not that simple. Do you love him, yes or no? Answer the question. Lewis. You're with him all the time. Your work revolves around him. Your life revolves around him. Objection. Badgering. You don't have a boyfriend, but the one you did wouldn't share you with Your him. Your Honor. Please, I just need a- Do you love Harvey Specter? Uh, Do you love Harvey Specter? That's enough. 